Hey, Coach J.R. Teagues, Coach, uh, another one-run ball game, and the guys, uh, they, I don't know, it's like they got a knack for winning these one-run ball games. Andro Chitora, uh, let's talk a little bit about the freshman. Before the ball game, you said he, he needed to throw all three pitches for strikes, and it's it's a growing process for a freshman. He looked good tonight, looked like he got better as he went farther into the ball game, but how was he as far as throwing all three pitches tonight? He was outstanding. Through his changeup, his curveball, and his fastball has so much late life to it. Got a lot of swing and misses on that. And he was still throwing 92 in the eighth inning. That shows his strength. And, you know, he pitches like a senior out there. You can't tell he's a freshman until you interview him. You know, other than that, he does a great <laughs> job on that mound. And he's the guy you want with the ball in his hands. Uh, Stefan Lopez nailing it down in the ninth inning with uh, a little bit of gusto there. Fan in the side and uh, ties a single season record now. So he's got the single season and the career record, and uh, uh, Chris Franklin congratulated him after he uh, set the career record. Now he's got to at least tied him for both, has one to himself. Yeah, Dylan Hills did a good job of holding mm -hmm. it and getting the ball to Stefan. And, you know, we won a lot of one-run games. I think we're nine and two in one-run games this year. A lot of that goes to our bullpen, you know, Dylan Hills, Greenleaf, and Stefan Lopez, to me, one of the best closers in the country, no question. Well, you talked about it before the ball game. The guys had to be aggressive in the strike zone against the left-hander. Tonight he walked six. He also hit two batters and you score five runs on just four base hits. But they came at the right times. You got guys on base and uh, followed it up. He walked three leadoff batters in the ball game, and all three of those scored. I, you know, that was a big difference in the ball game. Our hitters dominated the strike zone. They forced them to throw it inside their box, and if it wasn't there, we took the pitch, showed a lot of self-discipline at the plate, a lot of selfishness as well, mm -hmm. a lot of guys taking some tough pitches, sacrificing guys over, and some really good productive outs as well. Uh, speaking of sacrificing guys, over, let's talk. You got a senior in Jonathan Pace. He's your cleanup hitter, and he's the third leading hitter in the Southland Conference. And twice tonight, he laid down sacrifice bunts. That's the epitome of uh, Lion baseball right there, isn't it? No question. You know, it, it shows the unselfishness of this club. You know, Jonathan Pace is one of the best hitters in this conference, one of the best hitters in the country. You know, he gets a bunt down, is excited to do it, and made the job easy for the guy behind him, and then Cody Goddard got him in. All right, Coach, it's just the first of uh, three ball games this weekend, so uh, best of luck tomorrow against Central Arkansas. Thanks a bunch.